Creating custom chatbots for your website can be insanely powerful. But if you don't have any experience, it could be quite overwhelming. So I'm going to show you how to set up a BotPress chatbot from scratch, the variables and features you can play with step by step, even if you never used it before. So by the end of this video, you can have your own custom chatbot on your website. So you can improve customer chats, save money and give a more personal touch on your website. If I I search AI automation agency into YouTube, a lot of people are talking about how to make chatbots for other people. This guy made $12,000 a month in 42 days. This one, $2,500 a week. This guy sells it for $3,000 per chatbot. This guy makes $5,000 a month. And you might be wondering, does it work? Yes, because you can build chatbots for other people that does customer support, lead generation, e-commerce assistant, virtual assistant, language translation, and information retrieval. And as far as I know, if you help a business do something easier, faster, or better, they are willing to pay for that. So I'm gonna show you how to make a few different chatbots step by step so you can create this for yourself and your business, or again, you can sell it to somebody else. But before that, drop a comment down below AI automation agency if you're interested in this. Maybe I'll make more videos on it in the future. Step number one, go to BotPress. As you can see, build ChatGPT chatbots surprisingly fast. This is from BotPress that is sponsoring this video, which I'm very happy for because they are the current best chatbot creator. Even compared to custom chat GPTs, the answers you get with this is way more reliable. So just click on get started, it's free. Now that you're on the inside, let's create your first chatbot. All you need to do is click on create chatbot right here and then click on edit. As you can see, you can learn BotPress, start from scratch or AI public personality. We're gonna start from scratch, use the template, and this is how it looks straight off the bat. All we need to do is just delete this node and we're gonna keep this simple node in here. If you never build a chatbot, this tutorial is for you. I'm gonna go from complete basics. I'm even gonna delete this one so you can start from scratch. As you can see, we start with a start node and we have an end node. All we need to do to begin is right click, click standard node, and now we are beginning. I'm just gonna drag the start node in here and let's write, for example, now I'm going to go over to the left side where you can see all of these cards. This is everything that we can do within a node. To still keep it basic, I'm gonna drag a text card right into our node. As you can see, this prompts us to send a message. I'm gonna write, hello, welcome to your personalized chatbot. And now what we could do is drag from the node over to the end and we would have a complete chatbot that doesn't do anything. But we actually want it to do a lot of things. So in this example, let's imagine that I run an AI agency that helps companies from one to a hundred employees set up their own custom chatbots. First, we're gonna ask them how many employees they have. Then we're gonna ask them if they need more personalized help that gathers their email and sends them to an appointment scheduler. This example will help you set up any chatbot that you want as we go through the different filters and cards to add. So we're not going to drag this one to the end. We're gonna right click and add a standard card. I'll drag the always card over to the standard new card and I'm gonna name it ask. Now I'm going to use any of these capture information cards to get a prompted response. In this case, we're gonna use the number because what we're going to ask is how many employees does your company have? We're then going to click on select and create variables so we can store their answer later. I'm gonna call it numb, click on enter, and I'll show you how we're gonna use that later. I'm gonna click on add card and we're gonna add two different expression nodes that triggers on different answers. I'll click on the number again and here we can now start writing our choices. I'm gonna say between 1 and 10. I'll click on the plus icon and write above 11. 
use natural language here because it actually understands. As you can see on the node itself, we actually got two outputs here now. So I'm gonna delete these because we don't need them. For the next step, I'm going to add a standard node and I'm gonna add an other standard node. And now I'll teach you about the variables. If I add a card here and click on text again, what we can do is say something like, hey, cool that your company has, we'll click on this variable that will write exactly what they just said. Then we'll say something like what we recommend is watching this YouTube video. And it could be a landing page. It could be anything that you made for that specific audience. So this is the answer between one and 10. And then we can just copy this entire card and just paste it in the second card. It will have the exact same number, exact you will just change out the link or information for that target audience. Make sure to connect the nodes and our chatbot is starting to look nice. The next step, we'll add a new standard node. And for this one, we'll add a card that is a multiple choice. With that selected, we'll go over to the right and add choices like yes and no. With the question, would you like to talk with one of our AI experts? We just make sure to connect the nodes, both of them into the same field. And now based on their answer, you can see no here, you can see yes here. For yes, we'll add a standard node that we're going to add this email address card so we can get their email. I'll say, okay, cool, what is your email so we can contact you. I'll also create a new variable called email and we'll also add a standard node for the no and we'll send a message that's more ending, sending them to our YouTube channel or maybe your blog and we'll connect connect these nodes. But since we're only making a simple chatbot, I want to show you some more advanced features. If you go to the top and click on flows, you can see that you can add a default knowledge base. This is good for you because you can have answers in here that the AI will be able to answer. We can just click on knowledge base source and here you can upload documents, web pages, web search or text document. We can add pages and add from sitemap. This is by far the most extensive way to get your entire website database into your chatbot. Take for example, this random website that I found. All you need to do is to go to the end of the URL and then write sitemap.xml. And here we see all of their data. And you probably have this on your website as well. Copy this link. And now you can see that they got 4,900 URLs that you can add the data from. This is important to you if you have an FAQ about your shipping times or return of items, maybe refund policy see your chatbot can answer all of that. Just like that, we'll then plug everything into the end. All I'm going to do is click publish and then we can talk to it in the emulator in the right. I'm just going to write it hello. And just like that, it's writing to us. Hello, welcome to your personalized chatbot. How many employees does your company have? And it will give us these different answers. I'm going to click on between one and 10. And if you remember from our flow, it's now going to go through and say, Hey, cool that your comp, this is the reason why we test, has between one and 10. What we recommend is watching this video, and this is a personalized video for them. Would you like to talk to one of our AI experts? So now we're gonna click on yes. It's gonna say, okay, cool, what's your email so we can contact you? I'll write my email, and we captured the variable email, but we didn't actually say anything else, and that's what the last step is for. Right click, standard, text. Again, that's something like, thanks for sending your email. You can schedule a call with our AI expert on Calendly. We'll also be reaching out to you shortly via email. We just connect it up to each other and to the end. And that's when we reach the final step. All you need to do is click on flows and we have a tab called conversation end. This basically triggers when we reach the end point of the other workflow and we get this handler that can literally do anything that we tell it to. What's popular is having multiple choices and continue into different workflows. But to keep it simple, we'll just say thank you and goodbye just like this. And then we can publish your chatbot looks like like this, it's acting exactly like before, giving the exact responses that we prompted it to. Now to embed this BotPress chatbot on your website, all you need to do is to have a BotPress cloud account, you probably do, a BotPress bot, and you make sure that you've published your bot. 
we did all of that. Now we just go to the integration hub, which looks like this. Click on the web chat integration and make sure that it's installed. Then you can either use your shareable URL that shows the page that I just showed you, or what I like to do, embed the script on your website. If you haven't done this before, just paste this code between the body tags of your HTML page. You find this by clicking on your bot, clicking on integrations, going to the pre-configured, and here you have your script. Just copy and paste it directly to your website. And just like that, you have your own custom AI chatbot on your website. If you need more help, check out BotPress's YouTube channel that has over 200 tutorials on it. Or if you want to start your chatbot now, click the link in the description to get started for free. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.